motivation is a feeling that comes and goes, and it doesn't matter whether it's there or not. Discipline is infinitely more important. So no matter how you feel, get up and do what you're supposed to do. That's it. And that's discipline. That's not motivation. If you only did what you were supposed to do when you were motivated to do it, that's leaving it to chance. But if you're disciplined, you go do what you're supposed to do. That's the way it works. If you want to be the best, you watch the best. You look at the best. You watch them and you have their lifestyle. Don't be like this, have their lifestyle and it'll take you anywhere you want to go. That's the only way you ever get where you want to go. You have to take a path that's dangerous and most people want to take the safe path. The safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation almost every time. It's hell. It's more important to, to own your weaknesses. You got to really triple down on those, man. Because why? You want to become a full human being. We like to run away from weaknesses. Like for instance, if you're good at running, all you want to do is run. If you're great at reading, you have several books. But we don't do those things that we're not good at. So for me, I realized, man, like I keep on running away from these things I'm not good at. I have to dive into these things. I have to become one with these things. So I, I, I own them both. It was a beautiful awakening. It's like when you're, when you're living in your parents' home, they, they are the enemy. You know, everything you don't do right is because of them. And then when you're on your own and you had a say, you start making mistakes that you made when you were at home, it's like you can't put it on mama now. Mama not with you no more. You can't put it on daddy and say, my father was too hard. They, I had a curfew. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't let me party past 12. Like I had all these excuses why I wasn't successful because of my parents. You finally have what you always wanted control over your over your life and you're getting the same results if you really want to change you have to take personal responsibility i think the company is where it is and people follow me because they don't hear a bunch of excuses they hear yo e you coming at me hard but it's the truth like i know what i'm doing wrong and i just need to make the adjustment so i would say personal accountability and personal responsibility is what took me from being homeless and a high school dropout to the number one motivational speaker in the world. There ain't nothing you can do about what's gonna happen to you. You can't stop life from happening. You can do something about it. Life is 10% what happened to you. It's 90% what you do about it. You got to stop tripping every time something happened to you like it's the end of the world. It ain't. Just change your mindset. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. I saw working out as a way for me to build calluses on my mind. I had a callus over the victim's mentality. I always equated training to mental toughening. Like, it always looked brutal. People waking up early and doing all these things. And it, looked, it looked horrible. I was like, wow, man, I got to start doing that. Not to get better, bigger, and stronger. But that is what's going to build me. That looks uncomfortable. That looks brutal. And getting up early, I don't want to do that. So I made this long list of things that I don't want to do. And through that, I found myself. So I started seeing myself very differently than the average human being. I was like, hang on a second. I have something they don't have. And that's when I started to develop these things through working out. It was this great, never-ending work ethic. And through work ethic, I developed self-esteem. I believe that everybody has a gift. Every single human out there listening right now, you have a gift. You cannot be great being a lesser version of what already exists. You can only be great when you execute against your own potential and do your own development. And that means getting up there and looking like a clown. And it means taking little bitty steps forward every single opportunity you get. Make your luck. You, you gotta make your luck. And if you make it, if you keep putting forth the maximal effort, that luck's gonna come, you're gonna make your luck happen. We lie to ourselves. We don't tell ourselves the way things really are. And when we do that, then we can't fix our problems. We have to be truthful to ourselves. We have to stop rationalizing, stop making excuses, stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe.